Hallelujah. God wants to use his Christians. Hallelujah. God wants to meet needs. There are people that need to hear the gospel. There are people who need to be warned about hell fire. There are people that are hungry out in the streets. Hallelujah. And God wants to use His church to meet these needs. Hallelujah. Someone may need $10 gas. They may need $20 gas. They may be praying for help. You may be the answer to someone's prayer, Christian. Hallelujah. We need to be sensitive to the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. What seems like little things to us may be big to others. Ten dollars gas, twenty dollars gas, that may be nothing to you, but they may be somebody right now praying for that. And it's big to them. Hallelujah. And God may use you to meet their need. There may be somebody hungry. They're praying. God may use you to meet their need. Some food. A plate of food might not be nothing to you because you eat all the time. Everything's going good in your life. But there are others where their life is not going good. And they may be praying and God may want to use you to meet their need. Hallelujah. We need to be sensitive to God. We need to have the compassion of Christ. We need to have the fire of God burning in our heart. The zeal of Jesus. Hallelujah. The zeal to do God's work. If you ain't got no fire for Jesus, you need to get you some fire for Jesus. Hallelujah. If you're not right with God, get right with God. The harvest is plentiful and the laborers are few. And God, He wants laborers. Hallelujah. If you backslid and lost your fire, you need to go back to God's Word. You need to go back to that secret place of prayer. And get your fire back burning for Jesus. Hallelujah. Get your hand to the plow. People are going to hell. People are in need. We don't want to just be mouth professing Christians. We have to have real vibrant faith for Jesus. The Bible says faith without works is dead. Hallelujah. You say you got faith in Jesus, but you have no works that show that you really believe in Jesus. Hallelujah. That's like me saying, you know, that truck right there runs, but the engine doesn't start. It doesn't roll on the highway, but I say it runs. It's a car. It's a vehicle. Hallelujah. But the engine doesn't start. It doesn't roll on the highway. You can't say you have faith with, in Jesus and you're not working for Jesus. The Christian is a worker for Jesus. But some of you have lost your fire. You have let your fire go out. Something in your life has choked out God's word. And you need to get it back. Hallelujah. God wants you to have real faith. Real faith has movement. God wants His Word to be preached. God wants His Word to be witnessed. There's people that need prayer. There's people that need help. 
And we need to be sensitive to God. We need to be about our Father's business. Like Jesus was when he was a young child. He told his mother when he went and sit back with the leaders while they was on a journey. And when his mom came back and found them, he told his mom, don't you know I must be about my father's business? Hallelujah. We need to be about our father's business. We, have, we need to have that mind that was in Christ Jesus in us. Hallelujah. Like the scripture says, have this mind in you that was also in Christ Jesus. We need to humble ourselves and give ourselves as a living sacrifice in obedience to Jesus. Hallelujah. There's work to do. This is just a word of encouragement. Get your fire back if you lost it. If you're not right with God, get right with God. If you don't have a fire, get a fire. Get in God's word. Go after God in that secret place of prayer. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 that Without faith, it's impossible to please God. And those who come to God must know that He is God. And He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. Hallelujah. God rewards those who diligently seek Him. So seek after God, Christian, and be faithful to Jesus. Get your fire back and be obedient. In Jesus' mighty name.